Hi, my name is Joe from Austria and you are watching DJV. Enjoy the show! Esso, or Husky, I guess it's Esso now, used to be Husky, has been to Cup Coffee now. Everywhere is getting those machines and I love it. Coffee is so much better and fresher. Oh, here's this bad boy sitting right here. Nice. Another one. I don't think we're gonna take that one. She's all ready to go. Let's go deliver this freight. This truck stays so clean without diesel in here. <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. I still love having them in here, but. My cleaning schedule in the morning in the truck here is so much shorter. Instead of spending, you know, 15 minutes vacuuming, cleaning, getting everything ready for the day, it's like you wake up, you're like, oh, look at that. It's, it's still clean from yesterday. Wow. <laughs> so I usually have my dog with me for uh, you new people. He's been with me on the road for almost like 10 years. His name's Diesel, like the fuel. You get it? Uh, but he's at home with his family, with my wife and uh, our other dogs, spending some time with him. He'll be with me uh, part-time, 50-50 or maybe 60-40, who knows. But uh, this trip is just me. And there's periods where it's a little bit lonely, and there's periods where, like in the morning, I'm like, wow, it doesn't take that long to get ready. I pretty much get out of the sleeper, put my clothes on, go get my coffee, do my pre-trip, and boom! I don't have to walk the dog, I don't have to clean the truck. But then when I realize I don't have to do that stuff, that's when I start getting lonely too. <laughs> Dogs are nice companions to have on the road. A lot of work, a lot of work. So uh, don't get a dog for your truck if you're not ready for the extra work, okay? That's not fair to the dog. If you're gonna have a, a dog with you, just be prepared, get a vacuum. You're gonna have to vacuum every day, maybe twice a day, maybe three times a day. You're gonna have to do a lot of work. You have to stop more often to walk them, make sure they get their exercise. It takes a lot of your time. So, be aware of that before don't just go get a dog and then realize oh this is too much work and then just give them away I'm not gonna like you if you do that all right everybody have you done your pre-trips is your seat secured properly to your spot where you're sitting is your phone securely in your hand let's get out of here it's about two hours to where i gotta unload Lights on for safety, all the time, day or night. Let's get out of Lloydminster. Let's go up to Bonneville. Bonneville, Alberta. Express, is that the bus for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders? I wonder. Probably not. This is a really long light.
Someone is supposed to be coming to open this gate for me. And I'll go down around the corner and unload there. Nice property here though. Very nice. Alberta is always so beautiful. Just the rolling hills, the lakes down there. Everything's so nice and green in the summertime. Everybody takes care of their stuff and their properties. It's nice. It's nice to see. Southern Manitoba is the same way. It's just we don't have the rolling hills like they have here. Getting unloaded. There's just a really big piece on the other side. They're trying to figure out how to get it off without dropping it. <laughs> they got it though, they got it. Just staying out of the way for now. I've got all my equipment wrapped up already. I just gotta organize it, put it all back in the storage in the truck, sign the bills, and I'll go sleep in Edmonton tonight. I gotta pick up in a town called Nisku. Nisku, just south of Edmonton, t tomorrow at noon. So it's not even a big rush. I'm not too sure how far Edmonton would be from here. Maybe like three hours? I'm up in Bonneville, Alberta. Which is right on the east side of Alberta. Sort of straight east of Edmonton. Almost almost straight north of Lloydminster, sort of. Northwest a little bit. So we'll see. Looks like they got it off good. Awesome. It's a big piece. So, uh... This material goes to build grain bins, like the ones I showed you around here. Are they building a new grain bin? Beautiful canola field off to our right there. We're almost back in Edmonton. I think I'm going to stay at the Flying J at Sherwood Park on the east side of Edmonton. I'm going to have a nice shower there, maybe go and get something to eat. Pretty nice big flying J. There is a flying J in Nisku where I'm picking up, but there's only about like eight spots there, and I'm guessing they're probably gonna be full by now. That's the thing, I could take the risk and go all the way there, but if there's no parking, then what do I do? I know the flying J at Sherwood Park sure fills up pretty quick as well. There's a Petro Pass in Nisku, might have some parking, but someone told me once that that's paid parking. I don't feel like paying to park today. Not if I don't have to. I hate that thing, paying to park. It just seems like a money grab to me. calling it a day here so uh, we'll see you right here in the morning we're gonna go over to Nisku just uh, a little ways away from here pick up that load tarp it and haul it on back to Manitoba then I will be home after I deliver that load I'm going home and I should be home until after uh, the IVF transfer uh, for Brit I think that's happening now on uh, Wednesday I think it keeps getting moved back a little bit but I'm pretty sure Wednesday we'll see what happens 
cross your fingers for us everybody it's uh it's getting close hopefully it takes we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>